Probably, but I... That's what I was a joke. Um, oh, <clears throat> let's try again. What's going on, everybody? This is Matt Does Fitness, and why couldn't the dinosaur break through the wall? I don't know. I'm asking you the question. Okay, um, right, this is my second vlog, uh, so four day of eating, episode two. I'm going to start calling them four days of eating because that's what they are technically, even though I'm doing stuff, but um, if I was to call it like full day of me doing stuff, it's not as catchy a title. Um, yeah, so episode two, um, and I'll show you what I've got for breakfast. It's morning, it's uh, Sunday, it is half ten, which to be fair is a little bit late for me, um, but I went out, I actually went out last night, I'm not, now I'm not a big drinker, I, don't, I really, I go, out, I go out from time to time, but I'm not a big drinker, I don't avoid drinking, but it just never seems to really happen, um, but yeah, last night I went out with some friends from work, um, I had like a few drinks, again, I'm the biggest lightweight you will ever meet, so literally if I, if I have like two drinks, I'm pretty drunk, so quite a good thing really it's cheap and it means that I can't ever kind of do any damage to myself and get really hung over but um, I feel pretty good this morning I'm a bit tired like I said I had a bit of a lion um, but yeah I will show you what I've got right now so I've got if you see here I'll turn it around I've got my cereal which again Swiss style muesli um, I read out the macros in that last week so just watch my last vlog uh, but it's, I, weighed, I actually weighed it this morning for accuracy and it's 150 grams. I've got a banana, pretty standard banana, couldn't tell you its origin, but I would guess, I don't know, somewhere, maybe South America, uh, possibly Spain, I'm not big on the banana growing countries. Uh, I've got coffee in my Superman mug, which I, uh, I tend to have this quite frequently, I'm kind of quite strict, I like to have my Superman mug and I get very annoyed, if I come round and someone's drinking out of that mug, I'm not going to lie, I can be quite, can be quite rude about it. Um, and then I've got some water, so on the odd occasion that I do go out and drink, I just ensure for the next 24 hours I drink as much water as physically possible. So that is about a pint and a half and I've already drunk three of those this morning. And I've only been up for like, I don't know, half an hour. So, yeah, I'm going pretty mad on drinking water. I always do that. And then, of course, I've got my protein, which I've already had. Um, that was uh, 30 grams of whey, which is, I think, what with water in works out as about 25 grams of protein. And that is that. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I'm feeling right today. I'm actually feeling pretty excited. Uh, now I imagine you've, or well, I hope you have, if you haven't, what are you doing? Um, you've watched my previous two PRs, pretty bloody exciting. Basically, I, um, I'm i about to go into my uh, max testing week, so I've finished my six week cycle. I've had like a bit of a deload week, and then I'm gonna go into my testing week. However, in my deload week, which I've just had, um, I ended up doing two PRs. It wasn't planned at all. Just changing arms here because my shoulders are pretty. This is a good um, demonstration of how weak my shoulders are. I can't even hold a frigging camera for more than like a minute without my shoulders hurting. Anyway, um, yeah, so I did uh, my squats as usual, and then in my deadlift session, I was feeling really good, so I went for a PR, got a PR. That was at the end of my session, so I know in max week I've got, I should have more there, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and then my bench press, exactly the same thing. I was doing singles, I thought I'd keep it nice and light so I'm fresh for max week, uh, but I felt good. I did like 300, uh, 305, 310 or something and it felt easy, so I thought, you know what, let's just go for a big one. So I went for 155 kilos, which is 342 pounds, and I got it. It was a grind, but I got it, and I'm really pleased, because again, it was after a few reps. So I reckon, come max week, I've possibly got more there as well. So like I said, very, very exciting stuff. Um, and that is that for the morning. So I will eat my cereal and my other stuff, um, drink about another five liters of water, that's a joke, maybe four and a half, um, and I'll catch you in a bit. Greetings, I'm currently sitting at my computer and I thought it would be quite cool to show you like an insight into um, how I make my videos. So, turn this around. Uh, also, it's my giant container of nuts, which I'm currently making my way through. 
interesting insight, uh, nut knowledge, this isn't actually the genuine tub these came in. This was a tub I brought uh, probably a couple of years ago now, um, and I just buy bags and fill them up. Um, that was full about three minutes ago, so quite a lot of nuts I've eaten there. And that was a joke. Um, okay, so look at the screen. Here we go. Exciting times. Now, first thing to tell you is that, believe it or not, I used to, I used to up until literally today, I've been making my videos in Windows Movie Maker, which um, is crap. It's literally awful. It's like, it's the equivalent to uh, being a chef and using a... Uh, like a uh, temporary barbecue to make all your food. It's just useless, really, really inefficient, and a terrible, terrible idea. Um, anyway, so I've now upgraded. I got it the other day. It's called Movavi uh, Video Editor. It's a trial version, so if I like it, I'll keep it. And to be honest, at the moment, I really like it. Um, it's got a pretty cool name. Here's some of my clips I'm in the process of putting in. Uh, that is my, they're my squat uh, highlights. Um, so yeah, I'm, pretty excited actually because I mean to be honest I feel like my editing and my videos are decent quality but and I've got a, a pretty a fairly good camera but it's just yeah like I said the editing software I'm using has been ridiculous and it's frustrating because I see some people doing really cool like effects and stuff in their videos like zooming in and things like that. I can't even do that I can't even zoom into a to a video so it's frustrating so it'll be really nice now to use this and hopefully do a few more kind of cool things funny weird stuff uh, in my videos and yeah, you will already have seen a couple of them with this new software by the time you watch this, but I just thought I'd give you a little insight. See you in a bit. Welcome back. Just been shopping. Um, I thought I'd set the tripod up for this just so you can fully appreciate my uh, shopping haul. Okay, so let's get started. I've cleverly sorted my bags into fresh things and non-fresh things just to make the unpacking process uh, easier and in more exciting news um the start of the cereal so these are like weird fruit things my wife likes them i don't like them but we buy them uh swiss star music said it a few times this is what i'm eating in the mornings at the moment i tend to go through phases with cereal so at the moment probably the last like month i've been all over this but i'll probably get sick of it at some point uh, and change to something else uh Cereal bars, I had those during the day, like one or two of those. Uh, like little kind of races, which is like Aldi's version of Snickers. I have one of those today. Uh, Titans, they're Aldi's version of a Mars bar. One of those a day. Mid Gems, uh, you've probably seen uh, or uh, in my last video, heard me going on about uh, French fancies. These are a equally um, feminine uh, favourite of mine. Really, really good. Midget Jam, can't really go wrong with those. They're just some chocolate things. More chocolate, more chocolate. What a fatty. Um, bananas. Tend to buy a mix of like, really green ones that are going to last a bit longer. And then more yellow ones. An incredible banana tip um, for banana fans out there. I learned recently, um, I was finding bananas that when I put on the side um, within a couple of days, especially from all these, they go quite brown pretty quickly. So if you wrap the ends, you obviously um, take them out of the wrapper, wrap the ends of them in foil, they last forever. Like I had some that lasted seven, like a week, seven days, but still totally uh, non brown. So, Quote me on that. Um, this is boring, washing up liquid stuff. Some nuts from my nut collection. I'm an avid nut fan, like a squirrel. Uh, toothpaste, cleansing wipes, they're not mine by the way. Bag number one done, fridge stuff, bacon. Uh, beef, diced beef, so we'll use that in like a stir fry perhaps. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Broccoli, right, I don't really like broccoli or many vegetables as such, but obviously I know I need to eat them so I just kind of man up and do it. But I would never be like, oh I really fancy some broccoli now. Um, milk, pretty staple part of any <coughs> diet. Get through quite a lot of milk. Uh, just some tortellini, like an easy option if we're knackered in the evening. Whack that on. 
some Greek yogurt. I've said this a lot of times before. If you're unaware, the low fat variation has more protein in, so get that. One kilo of chicken. Uh, someone in my other videos they said they, said they were surprised that a kilo would last me a week. I don't eat it every day. I get lunch free at school, so I get a meal every day for lunch. In the evening, I'll eat this maybe once or twice. So this will last like a couple of meals. Uh, strawberry milk, moo milk. Um, I've switched recently from chocolate fudge brownie to strawberry just to mix it up. I tend to have that in the evening with my protein. And that is that bag, and that is my shopping. Um, so I'm going to make some lunch in a minute. I haven't decided what I'm going to have yet, but I will let you know when I'm eating that. See you in a bit. And it's lunchtime. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've got here. I have. Um, it's pretty unexciting to be honest. Um, I've got two pita breads, uh, like wholemeal ones. With we had fajitas last night, so it's all the leftover chicken from that. Um, and then I felt like it was a little bit uh, calorie sparse. So I just put friggin' loads of cheese all over it. That's kind of like my backup plan. If I haven't got enough calories in a meal, just cover it with cheese. And then obviously some ketchup on top. And that, my friends, is my lunch. So, I'm not going to attempt to eat it now on camera because it will fall everywhere. Um, this is going to be a mess. Um, I'll eat that and then I'll catch you in a bit. Yellow. Yeah, um, been a bit of a busy day. Sorry I haven't filmed anything for a little while. It's now evening. Um, I'm just eating a Titan, which is an Aldi's Mars bar. I'm going to be controversial, put it out there and say, I think it's better than natural Mars bar. It's really, really good. Um, I'm going to make dinner in a minute. Um, I'll show you that. I just thought I'd show you exciting stuff. One minute. <coughs> so, what I'm doing right now is I'm about to make a video. So this is like behind the scenes extreme exciting cutting edge stuff so here's my kitchen this is where I'm going to be sitting here's my tripod the camera I'm holding now will go on that um, and I'm going to make a video about my first powerlifting competition which I'm really really excited about 30th of November in Woking can't friggin wait um, you've probably already seen that by now but yeah this is like a uh, back in time uh, back to the future type uh, situation so yeah, I just thought I'd show you that um, crazy uh, behind the scenes uh, information. Here's my weird pervy supplement cupboard. Um, I'm gonna make some dinner in a minute. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have, but I will let you know and I will film myself eating it for your sadistic, food obsessed pleasure. Okay, so it's dinner time. Um, don't judge me. This is what I've got. I am eating garlic bread and sausages. Now, it doesn't look amazing. It looks all right, to be fair, but I can assure you this is really good. Um, I've got six sausages and then a thing of garlic bread. I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to eat something else. I uh, haven't decided what that will be. I will update you in a minute, but... I'm doing, um, I'm testing my squats tomorrow, so uh, it's obviously a big day for me. I really, really want to hit a PR there to level out with my other ones. So I want to try and get some calories in today. Uh, I've actually eaten a little bit less the last couple of days, I've noticed, so I'm just going to make sure that I've got loads of food in me. I'm feeling good tomorrow, um, and I smash it. See you in a minute. I'm back. Right, I've eaten the um, weird sausage garlic bread hybrid. I'm now eating, or in the process of eating, some... Uh, brioche. This is brioche with vanilla. In case you're interested in the macros, which you tend to be, there they are. So, um, bizarrely enough, right, almost seven grams of protein per hundred grams. Now, I don't really understand where. I guess it's the vanilla. I guess, but it's like literally just sponge. I'm not really sure where that's coming from. Also, I touched on this in my shopping earlier. Midget gems. Now these are incredible. Um, people don't really know this, but uh, they actually contain <clears throat> uh, 45 grams of protein per 100 grams. So they're literally one of the finest sources of proteins out there. Um, so as far as a powerlifting uh, bodybuilding diet goes, these these are, like I said, a mainstay. I mean, I would say anywhere from one to two bags a day of these. 
is an integral part of a diet. Um, now, another thing before I forget, and I feel so strongly about this, I actually carried my kitchen roll out of the kitchen into the front room. Right, so just ordinary kitchen roll, right? Now, you know me, I love Aldi's. I literally don't stop going about Aldi's. Right, sorry, what is that? Now, I've just pulled off four, four consecutive strips just to prove my point. There is nothing, or there is, but there's not many things more annoying than when you tear kitchen roll off and it hasn't been pre-cut properly and it doesn't tear, then the end of it comes off. What I do, I feel so strongly about this, sometimes I'll actually um, just throw the thing in the bin. So I'll tear a bit of kitchen roll off, brand new bit of kitchen roll, jagged edge, it annoys me so much, it goes straight in the bin to just to teach it a lesson and I'll get another bit. Um, now, like I said, I could not be more positive, more pro Aldi's if I tried, but that is one area they need to buck their ideas up on big time. Um, I'm actually plotting some type of uh, revenge mission now, so if my local Aldi's was to say have an accident and burn down overnight, let's not say there wasn't any um, justification for that. Hello friends. Okay, um, I've now, I'm now uh, mid consuming my Uh, my second uh, lot of protein for the day. It's a little bit late. I'd ordinarily have it a little bit earlier after training, but uh, obviously I haven't trained today, so I can have it whenever the hell I want. Um, I've had it. I've mixed it with uh, strawberry milkshake. The, the milkshake I showed you in the after I got my shopping earlier on, um, and it's just again as is the case three times a day, 30 grams away which is about 25 grams of protein. Now I'm sitting in front of my computer, which I will show you. This is pretty weird, this is my own channel, OMG, um, irritatingly enough, sitting on 4,907 subscribers, I want to get 5,000, it's taken like forever, so just tell, if you each tell 100 people, not tell them, make 100 people subscribe, that's going to be like a few thousand subscribers, so if you just go and do that now, um, I'm also... <coughs> might have seen one of the tabs there for you uh, tab pervs um, I'm looking at uh, psych up songs because my iPod I tend to <clears throat> I tend to get over music quite quickly so I find an incredible bit of music that really kind of gets me pumped and then within like two three times to listen to it, it doesn't really work anymore so I'm trying to find um, songs and I'm looking on like Google searches for like best psych up best pump, uh, pump up songs and I tend to do these and then some of the suggestions are literally awful like whoever's getting pumped up by this music is a complete freak because it's really crap but found a couple of good ones I'm going to stick on there um, some Jay-Z and Kanye West stuff any other suggestions put them in the comments section uh, or ideally send them back in time because by the time you watch this I've probably already done my testing and it will be irrelevant but um, yeah I'm going to drink my protein I'm, gonna, I'm going out in a minute so I may well Record a little bit more after that. Um, catch you in a bit. Oh, sorry, you just caught me staring at a banana. Um, right, uh, I'm about to go to bed, but what I thought I would do uh, as an exciting end to the video <coughs> is uh, let you watch me make my protein shake. So, I'll do it out in full view. Uh, this is my weird little pervy supplement cupboard. <coughs> This is how I do it. So, I have my scales, I have my little cup, uh, I get 30 grams of whey. I'm now incredible at getting this, I pretty much get it every time. 28, I jinxed it. That should be about 30, I'll do 30 grams of that in there, then I get my little mini scoop <laughs> and get my creatine, which I take once a day, always in the evening, uh, at roughly the same time. Give my body 24 hours to cycle it. Uh, five grams, put it in, boom. Then, this is where it gets exciting. I will either Use water or milkshake. Today I'm going to go for water because <clears throat> just feeling like a watery kind of day. 
Решайте. And <clears throat> I always down it. Oh, another good tip. When you take creatine, just like rinse the bottom bit and then drink that again. Because <clears throat> you can easily lose like a gram of served creatine like around the bottom of the cup. Um, and what I was going to say is that I always down my protein <clears throat> because about six months ago, I brought a really disgusting like toffee one. It tasted like vomit. And so I had like um, <clears throat> five kilos of it for about, so for about like a two month period, I had to down it every single time. So now I just do it instinctively. Um, and that's that guy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found my uh, eating exciting, uh, arousing in a non-sexual way. Uh, my trousers are incredibly tight, by the way. On a side note, I literally have about 30 degrees of uh, hip <coughs> flexion and I'll see you next time